Hello, I hope you're having a great day. It is currently 6.30 in the morning when I'm filming this. Partly because I woke up because of Lucy, our dog, and because I just can't go back to bed. And I have a sudden inkling to want to film and put some content out there. We got some good content on the way and I'm so excited. But this video was inspired by Yasmin. She wanted me to do a skincare routine. So shout out to her, thank you for the idea. Now my skin is by no means perfect. I have like a rash or something was kind of itching me on this side and I feel like I have minor rosacea on my cheeks sometimes. But I don't know if it's that or if it's a product I've been using, a facial oil and like just the oils don't go well with my skin. That's the thing about skincare products is you never know how they're going to react, how they're going to affect your skin. I also do kind of have like fungal acne on my forehead sometimes. It depends what shampoo I use or if I do put oil or different products on my forehead, it kind of does give me some fungal acne. So I've got some skin issues. I've been through it. I've been through it. High school was a really bad time. It kind of cleared up with college. But we are here for a skincare routine. And before I get into my personal skincare routine, I'm going to give you four tips or products that I want you to try out in combination with a good skincare routine. And for a good skincare routine, I recommend you go to a dermatologist or an esthetician. All right, I'm just gonna begin with the boring one that we all know about but might not do, and that is to drink 80 to 120 fluid ounces of water, okay? Water, 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 not soda, not carbonated beverages, not all this other crap, just plain water. You can drink alkaline water, mineral water, whatever, but drink water, okay? Next is celery juice this has been a lifesaver for me I've read so much about it and I feel like it's been a lifesaver for a lot of other people in terms of skin it can help with their eczema too you might be struggling with that it helps me when I'm breaking out it helps with inflammation it helps with so much so I totally recommend celery juice around 16 ounces maybe double it up if you're really having trouble with your skin but start at around 16 ounces and maybe you can work your way up from there but I swear if you give yourself a few weeks of drinking celery juice every day you are going to see an amazing and huge difference next is to switch to a satin or silk pillowcase this is a satin one the cotton ones are just not as hygienic I honestly forget the science behind it but I know cotton kind of strips your hair of your natural oils and can kind of just be more bacteria ridden so switching over to silk or satin is the way to go okay lastly i saved the best for last because this has been my holy grail now for, for i don't even know how long like nine nine ten months but it is this chaste berry vitex extract with Dong Kwai and it is amazing, amazing for hormonal acne. I have hormone issues and so I always break out around my chin. I'll show you my skin right now. I do have some pimples here, a little redness, redness. I've got like a pimple here, but let me tell you, when I say I went through it, I went through it, okay? Even recently, even two-ish years ago, I was having horrible acne. I researched videos. I, I was like, what the hell is out there that can help me? And I came across a video by Dr. Axe, and he was talking about, like, hormone issues. What can you take if you're going through either menopause or you have PCOS? And Dong Kwai, uh, Chase Berry was on there, so I decided to look it up. And honestly, have never looked back since. It is a holy grail for me. Take one every day in the morning, 
and I'm not gonna say it's an end all be all. I'm not gonna say you're never going to have acne or pimples again. I mean, look at me, I do. But the amount and the size is so much less than it used to be. And I definitely credit partially this to that and then eating less sugary foods as well. All right, so that is all. I hope you implement those tips because they are really important. Like this stuff will help you out. I've been there, I've tested them for many years and they definitely work. So let's get into my skincare routine. So the first part of my routine is to wake up, shower. I usually wash my face in the shower. I almost always use this CeraVe Salicylic Acid Renewing Cleanser. It is great. I, I watched a bunch of videos with people using it and they use it for the little textures on their face. And honestly, this has helped me a lot with acne and little pimples along the way. Honestly, it's good to do these videos because I can see later on in life, like what products I used to use. Cause don't you always wonder like, oh, when I was 12, did I even moisturize my face? Like what was I using? What did I wash my hair with? What did I brush my teeth with? Like just those little things, like the little habits and routines that you change along the way, but one day they're just completely different. You have no idea what you used to do. All right, so you're gonna do that for about one minute. Get it all in there, get it all lathered. If you need to put more water on your face, put more water on your face. It is important to cleanse your face thoroughly. You've been sleeping for seven, eight, nine hours, and you might have been sweating, you might have been on a dirty pillow. There's so many different things you need to do. And that's another tip actually, is to change out your pillowcase every week if you don't do that because those things are freaking dirty. Think about it, if you don't wash your hair every day and the amount of times you touch your hair and the amount of times you touch your face and maybe your clothes and maybe your hands have touched your pillow, like, oh my God, it's crazy. All right, so I've washed that off. I'm just patting my skin dry. Sorry if you like to see people washing off their products, but my bathroom is um, not pretty. Let's just put it that, that way. Alrighty, next, and this is my daily skincare routine, so I literally do this every day. I put on a vitamin C serum, and this is Dermadoctor Kakadu C, 20% vitamin C serum, and ferulic acid and vitamin E. Sorry, you can't see it that well with the glare. Usually the stopper is about that big, but I'll put like four drops. And then I just pat it into my cheeks, my neck, and my chest. After I put on the vitamin C serum, I let it dry, let it soak in. I wet my hands and then I put the water on my face because I'm going to put on hyaluronic acid. And for hyaluronic acid to work effectively, you need to have water on your face because it holds a thousand times its weight in water. So you need water on your face for it to actually do its job. I just use the hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. So after that's on, I love this. This has never given me problems with my fungal acne. And there's a lot of products out there that if you do have fungal acne, will affect it. And cause a lot of them have like glycerin and there's so many products like you really can't use that a lot of these companies use. And thank God this is one of those that you can use. It is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream Moisturizer. So unfortunately they don't have a pump, but I usually just dip in my finger. I get around that much. Now I'm doing something new, but I saw this video of a girl yesterday on TikTok and she was like, talking about retinol and how do you get it all over your face and you're supposed to use a pea size amount. And so anyway, she started just like putting it on her fingertips and tapping it everywhere. Because I usually rub it into my hands, you know, and then go like that, but that way is not really as efficient and a lot of the product gets stuck like between your fingers or on your hands. So it's best just to 
portion it out and put it on your face first. That way you'll be saving product, right? By not using as much product in the long run. Next is eye cream, okay? Hydrate your eyes. I'm using this Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. I literally just get like, I know you probably can't even see it, but like the tiniest amount. I'll probably actually need more. You know who I'm obsessed with right now is Hailey Bieber. Like she's literally so pretty and she seems so nice. Cause she gets hate all the time. <laughs> I feel bad though. She said she had to go to therapy because of all the hate she gets. Like, damn, I can only imagine, you know, what everyone was saying when Selena and Justin weren't together and then a few months later they get together. I'm not going outside right now, but I've been reading so much about sunscreen, listening to so many people about how you should add sunscreen to your routine every day of your life, even if it's cloudy outside. And so I'm going to start doing that because once you hit the age mark of 25, your collagen production goes down and I'm just trying to be proactive, right, in this whole aging process. And part of it is eating right too because sugars aid you a lot as well. So eating right and then having more natural, healthy skincare products and just keep it to the bare minimum. If you don't have a lot of products, you know, these 30 step routines, like no one has time to do that. If you just have three or four products like I do, that is perfectly good and sufficient. But anyway, this was a lot of money for freaking 1.7 fluid ounces. It was like 30, $35, but I love this brand. I definitely trust La Roche Posay. It is their broad spectrum SPF 50 tinted mineral and Thelios light fluid sunscreen. So I just got this. I've been using it just for a few days. But there is a slight tint, it's not really that noticeable. So I didn't really buy it for the tint aspect of it. I just wanted to start using sunscreen because I've seen, you know, sides of people's faces that age faster, depending if they're like facing towards a window or, or the car door, like truck drivers will have one side of their face. But it's so crazy. You just need to be proactive and whatever age you are now, start now because you will really thank yourself for it down the line. All right, this is our end product. My face feels hydrated, it's soft and silky. And like I said, this I do every day of my life. And it's something that I've had to kind of experiment with, you know, look up ingredients, look up products, look up you know, with my type of skin, I have combination skin, what works best for me. And I've been using these products probably for about a year now, and it has definitely helped with everything, with hydrating. I feel good, I feel more hydrated, I feel clean. And yeah, I hope you learned something that you can implement in your own life. Acne is a journey, it's a long journey, it's a hard journey, you gotta experiment, you gotta try different things out. And it's not like you can try it out once and see if it works. You know, you have to try out these things for, I would say, especially skincare, like maybe three months to see if you get good results. So keep pushing through it. You can do it. There is hope. There's resources out there. So if you need any help, go to an esthetician, dermatologist, look it up online even though you can't trust everything online, but you can do it, you can push through, and I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you on the next video.